friends, I'm Ryan Lestrange with today's Monday Word, and my Monday Word for you is developing a heavenly mindset. You know what? You can overcome, you can conquer every lie of the enemy, every struggle you're facing with a heavenly mindset. This is coming from my brand new book, A Higher Dimension, and I want to read you a scripture, Colossians 3, verses 1 through 3. Therefore, if you've been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above. Notice what he says, set your mind on things above, not on the things that are on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. So the Bible is telling us here that Christ is seated at the right hand of God. This is a location. This is why I wrote about this in the book, A Higher Dimension, about dimensions and spaces. This is not a time. This is not a season that I'm talking about. It is a dimension or a space. It's a destination inside of the heavenly dimension. And God tells us in Colossians, put our minds on the things in that dimension. This instruction is a power key. How do I get the victory? How do I overcome the doctor's report? How do I tap the destiny for my business, for my family? You've got to develop a heavenly mindset because the enemy is opposing you and challenging you on this natural realm. But when you begin to put your mind on the things above, you begin to set your mind on what God says and who God says you are, you begin to gain the advantage over the powers of hell. The instruction is a power key. As we meditate, to ponder, to mutter, to speak, to digest the Word of God, the Kingdom of God, the, the divinity of Christ, it sets us up for victory. Meditation creates access points. Uh, meditation is really taking scriptures, taking promises of God and digesting them, pondering them. David did this in the wilderness when he was alone with God as he was worshiping. You can do this by getting scripture verses and reading and rereading and praying in the Spirit and reading and rereading and speaking at one word for meditate means to mutter, which means to speak softly. This is the digestive uh, spirit system of the realm of the spirit that you meditate. It creates access points. This is true in the good sense and in the bad sense. For example, when we meditate on defeat, we meditate on fear, the lies of the enemy, we become overwhelmed by negative emotions, by negative thoughts. But when uh, we uh, unclean atmospheres come into our life when we meditate on those things, our inner thought life guides our decisions, our emotions, and the trajectory of our lives. So today we need to change our inner thought life. Paul said, finally, brethren, whatever is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, good repute, if there's any excellence, anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. That's Philippians 4, 8. Paul said, you got to just stay in this. Dwell on it. The great power preacher John G. Lake said this. This is all in the book, A uh, Higher Dimension. He said uh, that it, that is only one of the living facts of what Christianity is. The divine power of Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit filling a man's soul and body flashing through his nature like holy flame, accomplishing the will of God. You can access that divine power by developing a heavenly mindset. Today, make a decision. I'm going to think on things that are pure. I'm going to think on things that are true. I'm going to think on things that are lovely. I'm going to allow my mind to begin to meditate on, ponder on who God says I am, what God says I can do on the glory of God and the promises of God. And as you do, victories come in you. So Father, I thank you today for a heavenly mindset that we resist fear, we reject oppression, we uh, reject uh, uh, the operations of Satan, the defeatism, the mindset of fear, we reject that. And today we choose the glory of God. Today we choose the promises of God. Today we choose the deliverance of God. And we set our minds upon the things above in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.